This is the 2024 Acura Integra A-Spec Tech, and in this video, we'll take a look at it inside and out. My name is Joko, and welcome to Urban Auto Adventures. And thank you to Advantage Acura here in Naperville, Illinois, for lending me one of their vehicles so I can do a walk around video. I'll put a link to their website down in the description if you want to check them out. Now back to the video. Looking at the front of this Integra, we notice uh, it's very beautiful, sportish and aggressive looking style. We have very sleek and modern LED headlights with LED daylight running lights, a very stylish front grille with the Acura logo emblem dead center. We have two proximity sensors right here and two more right there more vents and we have another vent here that leads here uh, by the wheels to help cool down the brakes. The 2024 Acura Integra A-Spec is 186 inches long, 72 to 75 inches wide and about 56 inches tall and it has a ground clearance of 5.1 inches. Looking at it from the side we notice the very aerodynamic hatchback uh, design that the Integra has up in the front and in the back we have 18 inch wheels with disc brakes and a adaptive uh, dampening system meaning that the suspension adapts according to the drive motor that you're in. Since this is a fully loaded A-Spec model with the tech package we get the A-Spec emblem right here. We get trim color the same as our body on the bottom and we get black trim around the windows as well as here on the side mirror. The side mirrors have blind spot detection lights here on the inside and a turn signal LED turn signal here on the outside. Looking at it from the back we notice that the elegant and sporty design continues also here to the back. Up here we have our LED brake light, our hatchback design of our trunk space, a sportish looking spoiler here on the trunk, the Acura emblem right here in the center. We have Integra written right here on the rear bumper. LED tail lights with Acura written on the inside. We also have our A-Spec emblem here on this side as well. More proximity sensors in the back, a backup camera, a very sportish looking rear bumper, and we have two exhausts coming out of both sides of the bumper. Now to access the trunk space, all you do is you push on the rubberized button right here below and it opens up by itself. It's not an automatic lift gate, so you gotta give it a push. The trunk space that you get in the 2024 Integra is actually huge for its size. Not only is it deeper, it, it sits lower into the trunk, but it's also very wide. You get two LED lights here on both sides, and there's also a kind of a pocket area for uh, some additional storage right above the rear tire there. And if this storage is not enough, you get additional storage below the liner here. And this is where you can also find your spare tire. You can also find your 10 inch subwoofer right here in the back. And if this space is not enough, what you can do is you can lower the seats and that will open up a ton of more storage room. Now to put everything back in its place, all you do, lift up the back seat until it clicks into place from one side and from the other and close up the trunk. Easy. The 2024 Acura Integra A-Spec is a tiny 1.5 liter direct injection VTEC turbocharged four-cylinder engine that combined with its continuously variable transmission puts out 200 horsepower or 192 pound-feet of torque. Now that is pretty impressive for an engine of this size actually. And what you also want to know is where you put your windshield washer fluid and it's right over here away from the entire engine bay so that you don't spill any windshield washer fluid all over your engine. Smart. Sitting here inside the 2024 Acura Integra A-Spec, you get pretty much what you expect from a fully loaded model. Let's run through some of the safety and convenience features that this car offers. First, let's start with the passenger side. You get a regular sized uh, glove box compartment a very stylish with leather touches here and there dashboard. You get these very convenient uh, air vents here to control, to easily control how and where the air is blowing. Right here in the center, we get our touchscreen infotainment system with built-in Alexa 
below it we get our climate control unit which is physical buttons which i'm sure everybody appreciates we get a regular usb and a usb-c charging port with a 12 volt adapter here as well as wireless charging for the phone here below we get our gear selector our dynamic mode selector we also get an electronic park brake two cup holders an armrest and if you want additional storage you get some additional storage here right below the armrest as well for the driver we get a heads-up display a digital instrument cluster a very comfortable steering wheel with paddle shifters and physical buttons to control some of the other safety and convenience features such as adaptive cruise control lane departure warning etc we have power seats which are heated and you get this very nice suede texture here on the seat as well so that whenever you're taking sharp turns you're not sliding in your seat which is pretty smart and you have memory for up to two people in the driver's side and no people in the passenger side you also get a manual sunshade here in the top with a tilting and sliding sunroof and since this is the a-spec tech package you also get the ELS Studio 3D sound system which is 16 speakers throughout the entire car with a 10 inch subwoofer in the trunk crazy Sitting here in the back of the 2024 Acura Integra uh, A-Spec, you get pretty much what you expect from a hatchback vehicle. You still get plenty of leg room and plenty of headroom if you're a guy of my build, of course, but there's not a ton of storage here in the back. You do get the bottle holder here in the door, a little bit of a side door pocket here in the door. You get two USB-C charging ports in the center console a pocket here behind the front passenger seat and if there's only four of you traveling you also get a armrest with additional two cup holders so you can still have somebody sitting in the back and if you have some longer items that you you know want to transport in the trunk you can still pull down one of the seats have those longer items and have access to the trunk space and still have somebody sitting in the back which is pretty cool and you also get a led light here in the back as well and that concludes our video for today. Thank you for watching this far. Make sure that you hit the like, share, subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future video updates. Hit the thumbnail right there if you wanna see more awesome car videos and I'll see you in our next one. Cheers.